Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to create diamond plate texture with cops inside Houdini. So let's move into Houdini. So first of all I need one geometry on which I am going to apply that texture with some material. So for that reason over here I am going to create one geometry. I just go inside this particular stuff and I just create one grid. Now definitely as I am going to apply some texture onto that we need this particular stuff should be UV unwrapped. So I just apply UV unwrapped and over here we just apply strip and stretch. Okay and I just deactivate this particular stuff so I, I do not need that particular checkered texture over here and yeah so this is the geometry that we need. Now I am going to create one COP2 network. Okay, on in which I am going to create that texture. So I just go inside this particular stuff. Now to see that what we are going to compose in this particular network, we need this particular panel to see that particular thing. So compositing, composite view. And first of all, over here we prefer to set compositing settings. So for that reason, edit compositing setting. And over here I prefer to apply 1024 by 1024. By default, it is 1920 by 1080, something like that. So I just apply, accept, and I just close this particular thing. Now, over here, we are starting with one shape. Okay. Now, see, by default, whatever that edit setting, this canvas get that particular information and create based on that information. So, over here, instead of this shape, I am going to shape regular and I just apply uh, the star and maybe number of point to be two over here I just go to transform and increase the width maybe 1.7 and reduce the height maybe 1.0.12 okay so we get something like this over here now what am I going to do is that I just apply a blur effect onto that and maybe increase by 40 okay so we get something little blur diamond over here now we need to play with some transform so for that reason i just apply one transform over here i just move my object first of all i need to rotate that particular stuff like 90 degree move maybe 0.5 and i need the same pattern over here also so for that reason we just go into this image wrap and over here I just apply mirror ok so I need one more transform again I apply 90 degree rotation and in Y I just apply 0.5 move same way apply mirror so we get something like this again one more transform now over here I just move my this pattern to be 0 0.5 0 0.5 like this corner and now if i apply mirror we get this particular pattern on every corner okay so now what we supposed to do is that now we need to merge these 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 four contain so for that reason i just apply composite merge this with this so we will get this thing now again one more compositing operator this one with this and we will get this pattern and now one more time composite this with this one okay and we get a pattern like this now see over here we get some extensions and something like that over here so for that reason i prefer to apply one crop operator okay so that will help me out to crop that particular thing in a proper manner so we are not now some extension or some hidden data over here basically now i need to create one transform okay and uh, I just copy this scale parameter and paste relative reference over here and now maybe I just apply 
0.1 scale so it is scaling like this and here we just need to apply repeat and now see we just get this thing so i just reduce this particular thing little bit more like uh, 0.05 as well as i just rotated it to 45 degree so we get little pattern like this okay so now we get this pattern now what we supposed to do is that over here if you check alpha if you need this particular stuff to be applied as a diffuse map or something like that so make sure that you need to play with alpha right now because that the same things we get in alpha okay so for that reason if you want that alpha should be your alpha should be white what we can do is that over here we just need to apply one channel copy okay that c target your c and that should be input c so that we get same thing over here we just need to add plus one over here target is your alpha and i just apply that should be one okay so now if you check we get alpha to be one and this should be my color okay so if you want to apply this particular stuff as color information then this is the method and i just have create one null operator over here and name it as maybe out diamond pattern diffuse maybe okay if you want to use that particular thing right now i am not going to use basically i need one normal displacement map and for that reason i just apply one from here only i just apply one inward okay so we get some inward stuff over here i just need to apply little bit more blur onto that so blur maybe five like this and uh, i need to create one more operator that is gradient and now over here i just need to click output to be my normal map okay as well as i just need to apply some little bit scalar over here to give a little more power to this particular value and for that reason i just increase my scale to one to three okay so that's it so now i just need to create one null operator out diamond normal okay and now what am i going to do is that i just copy this particular stuff okay so this is just for that cop things now i again move into this scene view i just jump into my geometry container and now over here i need to create one material library okay so that for that reason i just need to create one material network now i just go inside this particular stuff and i am going to create one principal shader in which i just need to go to bump normal enable and to apply that particular see basically if i click onto this we just jump into uh, that uh, uh, my drive but I, I i want to call that texture from the, within that network so for that reason i just apply op okay you should write op column and control v for paste that null path okay so now to see the impact of that particular texture onto this particular thing we need to come over here apply one material on which i just go to apply click on to that go to geo1 mat principal shader accept and see we get something like this over here so definitely i just need to uh, lock this particular stuff go to mat net select this particular thing and increase the effect of that thing okay so like maybe two uh, go to surface and maybe you can play with some more values like uh, base color that is 0.2 you can play with specular roughness maybe i just reduce it by 0.25 or something like that 
okay so now see you can get something like this way to see this particular stuff on viewport little bit more accurately or more in depth you just come over here in your main network and you just create one environment light and just apply some light over here so you get something like this over here now what happened that i i want to render this particular stuff using karma render okay and for that reason we need to jump into solaris so now how to call this material and object into solaris so for that reason i just go to my solaris network now over here we prefer to create one scene import okay so i have this scene import i just need to click onto this object through which i just call this geo1 which carry that grid accept pattern so we get this particular stuff over here as well as what we prefer over here is to call that material that we created into our normal network so i just click onto that we have that geo in that matnet we have this principal shader so i just accept this particular stuff as well as we prefer to click on to this flat hierarchy and i just name it like materials okay so now we have that geometry and material network which carry that principal shader so now what we need to do is that over here we need to apply assign material so through that particular thing we can just call material but we are not assigning that material onto our object so i just click uh, create this assign material i just drag my geometry i just apply that principal shader over here now i am going to create one light that is dom light and i just click over here and maybe i just call one hdri and if you render it out like karma cpu render so over here you will get that diamond pattern metal texture okay so hope you like this tutorial see you soon with another tutorial thank you